Today is Tuesday, March 3rd, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Well, we are inside of our election night headquarters where later we'll have more coverage on results as they come in. Happening right now, voters across the city are submitting their ballots at local polling places, potentially deciding the fate of multiple public offices. In Stockton specifically, voters are voting on who they want to, as the next mayor and city councilors for District 2 and 6. To be on the ballot are eight candidates for mayor. Tonight, if one receives 50% plus one vote, they will win the office. If not, the top two candidates will be on the ballot in November. Tonight, we will have hourly live updates here on Facebook and YouTube with the latest results. The Registrar Voters Office is expecting at this point to release their first round of results around 10 p.m. After that, the results should come in an hourly and will be on the air as that happens. So hope you can join me to, uh, tonight. Polls in California close at 7 o'clock. Switching gears now, Stockton police are investigating a truly unique case of assault with a deadly weapon. At 7.40 p.m. yesterday, 44-year-old Monique Collins allegedly began arguing with an employee at a business in the 1600 block of Hammer Lane. The argument was about the quality of a sandwich that she purchased. The argument ended when Collins allegedly threw a glass tip jar at the victim and struck him with a wooden broom. The 50-year-old victim is recovering today and Collins is in San Joaquin County Jail. Coming up after the break, a new art gallery is coming to Stockton. How and when you can see it for free. We'll be right back. It takes a village to help somebody get their diploma. It changes your whole life. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back. Stockton San Joaquin Delta College will soon be home to a new art exhibit opening this week seeking to mix art and technology. The Horton Gallery will be opening the Technology and the Arts exhibit, an interactive experience, on this Thursday the 5th. There will be a reception Thursday open to the public at 5 p.m. This new exhibition will be at the college from Thursday until April 3rd and features some 3D art as well. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.